hiding against the wall again. So I could use my head at the same time aiming. Look at that. That's brilliant. <laughs> So this device is probably going to be one of the most interesting gadgets that I'm going to review this year and it's actually a smart glass, it's called uh, Solink Glass MoCap X. This is the world's first motion glasses for the 3D shooting game players. So in other words, by wearing these smart glasses, you're going to become a better aimer for 3D shooting games. So the main features for this smart glass is that it comes with a very precise head movement capture. So this smart glasses will track precisely your head movement and it makes you become less of a finger, more of a head. Your head becomes a device. And it makes a lot of sense because your head, I presume, moves quicker than your uh, fingers. Okay, and it's also very compatible, not only with your Android, um, but your um, iOS device, um, also with your tablet, your PC and game console, it's all compatible with these. And also comes with lens replacement, and it's known to be very lightweight and a long battery life. So you can use this up to eight to 10 hours indeed. So I'm very excited about this. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. I can already feel the movement going on. Whoa, look at that. That is quite cool opening. And if I were to get this lid out, whoa, we got a capsule here, black. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. All right. So this actually comes with a battery capacity, this capsule case. And that's how it looks like. Look at that, that green light flashing. So that's where the USB-C is going. And um, let's see if I actually trying to... All right, see that? That green light flashing that is really cool and it's really nice feel and it's a bit light as well we got a nice cover um, and also you know quick uh, warranty card and user guide so that is the actual USB uh, so sort of dongle isn't it and those are the cables so I think one is for the extension. The other one is the USB-C cable in D. So for the smaller box, let's see what sort of lenses are inside. And then if I were to open up here, we got another spare lens. So this is actually a tinted one. So it's darker than the original one that comes along with it. Okay, so to focus on the actual um, smart glass itself, again, uh, that's the original lens and that's where you charge your um, smart glass. And oh, you can actually see here, there's the plug here that should be manually plugged into your devices. And on here, we got the design by Solink uh, in China. And the other side says uh, move uh, with your nature. That's quite cool. And it's really uh, slim actually comparing to the other smart glasses I know. I presume this is the uh, power on button. And uh, we got a very nice logo of Solink here. And it's lightweight indeed. It reminds me of those um, glasses that you wear when you play golf. So if I were to peel it out, clear lens that should be treasured. So for this spare lens, if you peel it out, it's basically a sunglass effect, isn't it? Um, but what I have actually noticed as I was playing around with this is that you can easily uh, snap this out. So it's like a magnetic joint. And all you need to do is just pull it out and plug in the other one here, as you can see. And um, I'm not sure how this works, but it seems like there's some sort of a um, power connection. Without the lens itself, 
The frame looks really cool. It's a really nice sort of aerodynamic kind of look without the lenses. So it already has been a few months since I received this Soli Mocap X and after filming uh, the unboxing and first impression side, I didn't make much progress because I was mainly stored under with my business and work and etc. while I was trying to figure out how to set it up. And one of the biggest challenge was to update the actual version of this Solid Mocap X. But once I figure out how it works, it's pretty straightforward. I've done it several times. So just to uh, explain the quick run through is that you need to download the Solink app, okay? And then you need to make sure that you update uh, this solely mocap x um, by downloading another app and then once you upload it then you need to also uh, synchronize it with the actual device that you're going to use but at the same time you gotta also uh, use the dongle and while uh, using the usb debugging mode by going through the developer option and so on i'm not really sure whether that's going to be the final way to set it up but because we're actually still in the uh, progress of uh, developments on the software side and so on. It's an early stage, but uh, once you know, it's pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do today is by using my Samsung tablet, I'm going to play the PUBG so you guys can see how it works. But already you can see that as my head moves, the actual um, screen is also showing that the, there's a movement detecting so that's all good to go so enough said let's get into the PUBG right so we're in the PUBG as you can tell I haven't actually played PUBG for that much but for the demonstration purpose I downloaded this uh, app and trying to demonstrate it for you so uh, you just need to make sure uh, you go to the settings and you choose the right uh, visual display settings which I have actually done already but if you press the actual main button um, you can see the icon on the top left that goes on gray which means it's not active but if you go press it again it's actually red again and if I move my head around as you can see up down left right immediately I can scroll the whole screen now sometimes you feel like you feel kind of limited on the movement all you need to do is just press on the uh, key uh, well actually on the screen and then uh, you can scroll, readjust it and then again when you want to do close focus very quick reaction on the aiming that's all you need to do so move the head and so on so it's very immediately very easy uh, to control now um, I actually used my knife to um, stab someone yesterday immediately while someone is actually uh, shooting at me so I'll try to demonstrate that to you again today but I just can't see my opponent so I'll just keep running and running and running till I find one so I'll just oh there you go someone's trying to shoot at me so let's move oh, there is there I can see it so that person cannot aim properly at me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run and just stab so there you go see so I'm much more effective by stabbing okay so you can see I have actually succeed I used to be a very great, a great stabber um, by uh, playing COD. They used to call me the backstabber. <laughs> so I was very good actually. Um, and okay, so let's change it onto the gun. And let's see that, um, yes, it's just, it feels like um, you've got a really big screen. It's a very odd feeling actually. But anyway, let's see if there's not anyone else since I got the gun. I'll try to show you the aiming mode as well. Because if I press that, yep, that's good. So so again, if you feel like you're, you're not creating enough, um, you can't move enough, you just need to touch the screen and then scroll, scroll around left and right and readjust it. And then if you wanna do suddenly a quick surrounding aiming, that's when you move your head and so on. So it's like a dual control which is really cool, very effective as well. I loved it when I was actually playing it yesterday. Um, and I'm trying to do the same thing today as well for demonstration purpose. So here it goes. Let's see if there's someone else. Oh, someone's shooting at me. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see that. It's this way. Okay, yeah, so I can see the guy. Let's use the aiming um, by doing that. Okay, there you go. So I'm actually aiming. There you go, see? 
I could aim much better than this person's shooting at me. How come I'm, I'm getting this person while this person can't see? My head movement. Yep, see? Headshots. So I destroyed that person. It was really easy. Amazingly easy. So um, I think it's mainly to do with the... Uh, where's all that green box gone? Okay. Anyway, so that's how you can do it. I think that person got so annoyed because I was actually not hiding, exposed in the field, shooting at it while this person was hiding behind the wall, but I managed to get this person by using the close aim. So that's another close, a good example um, to show how effective this MoCap uh, X Soul Link uh, smart glass is. So <laughs> I already killed two person without being destroyed. So let's try to see uh, someone else trying to kill me at the same time. But please note, I'm actually a very beginner at this game, but already um, <laughs> quite effective, mainly because of this smart glass, and I'm very happy with it. Um, it's, and it's really enjoyable to play the game because you can see that my head is another great control aiming for close aim and also looking around the surrounding. Again, if you want to readjust the overall view, reposition it, you just need to touch the screen. Oh, here it goes. Okay, so. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. I need to reload. There you go. Just hiding against the wall again. So I could use my head at the same time aiming. Look at that. That's brilliant. <laughs> so at the aiming mode, I basically um, use my head to aim at this person. And um, while this person was trying to figure out how to aim at me, all I need to do is just move my head. Um, and I just sh was pressing the shooting button and it's all good. So again, I think this is a perfect demonstration of how good this Soling mocap X is. It's, I kind of feel guilty because I feel like I'm cheating in some way because these guys will never figure out I'm actually using this. But they're going to think, probably going to think, wow, this guy's controlling a bit weird. His movement is a bit weird. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so I hope that uh, pretty much demonstrates how well and how good this Soling mocap X is. This is brilliant. So one thing I actually found out is that once you open your Soul Link app and then connect it, you will see a small icon red on the top left or wherever you want to move it around actually, uh, is that it limits the touchscreen uh, function for some reason. Um, if you do experience that case is that you just all need to do is press this uh, power button and the red will turn to gray. Um, and then you'll go back to normal. So there's nothing to worry about in that end. I end up actually uh, restarting, force restarting my um, uh, Samsung uh, tab, but that, that's the simple way to do it. So again, as shown on this uh, quick demonstration, how effective it is by moving your head as an extra controller, you become a much better shooter on a shooter game. And it was a really good experience. Not only you feel confident, you feel you actually do feel like you have a huge advantage over your opponent, which was clearly shown on uh, the demonstration I showed. And also you got a really cool smart class. This is actually a blue light protect, protecting lens as well. So let's say if you are playing games for a very long time, it will also uh, protect your eyes as well. It's one of the most important thing for me as well. Uh, at the same time, the battery life is expectancy is pretty good as well. So if you want to become a better shooter, you should definitely get one of these smart classes. So anyhow, I hope this video demonstrates to you how cool uh, this smart glass uh, Solik MoCap X is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.